Ian, how have you adjusted to life here in Tampa? Well, I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty, pretty easy to adjust when uh, the people have been this friendly, uh, the weather's this great, uh, the team's been fantastic. So uh, it's been a very easy adjustment. Um, you know, obviously when you're you winning a lot of hockey games, that makes things a lot easier as well. Um, so, uh, no, it's been great. Time here has been awesome. Uh, me and the family loved it. And, uh, you know, looking forward to uh, hopefully a long run in the, the spring into the summer. So. You're talking about the postseason, of course, and as we get there, you're going to start growing that beard. It gets a little bit gnarly. How do you manage that? Because that seems like a lot of work. It does get it does get very gnarly. It gets very red too as it starts to come out. Um, but uh, you know what? I don't I don't really manage it much. You know, I'm, I'm thinking you know if I'm going to grow it and I'm going to go for that kind of you know homeless uh, <laughs> lumberjack look, uh, I'm just going to commit to it and just go. So it's just going to get gnarly and gross, and then. Uh, I'll shave it off when we're done and, and get back to normal. How does so. the family react to that? Especially, you were talking about deep runs, and yeah. it's starting to get longer and longer. Yeah. Uh, a couple years back, I'd actually start at the beginning of the season, I'd grow it all year long, so it would get, like, really nasty. <laughs> uh, so I think that uh, the compromise was just for playoffs, and, uh, and, and that's what we settled on. Saved by Andre Rebus for Cole scores! You're part of an elite group that's been to the final so many years running right when you're in that locker room on the ice do you you do you get that sense that there's a challenge out there like this is the standard that you have to keep up definitely definitely i mean um you know when i was in pittsburgh you know, we won twice back to back and i remember how hard that was you know by the finals of the second year it's like you're taking 20 second shifts you get out there you're like when can i get back off i'm just so tired so knowing that and then seeing what these guys did last year, going to a third finals in a row, not winning it, but, but, but going there. I mean, it's a ton of hockey over three years. And, um, you know, we feel confident in our team and our ability to go that distance again this year. When you play that much hockey, it's almost as if there wasn't really an off season because camp starts just a few months <laughs> afterwards. How do you reset and take care of your body and also your mental? Basically, the summer gets really short. It turns into about two months. And, you know, after you win, you're probably having some adult beverages, you know. <laughs> Uh, the city's been used to that right. the past couple of years, um, you know. So you know, you got to sober up a little bit. You got to start working out again. You got to, you know, kind of get the uh, the head back into it. Like there's a mental fatigue to go along with the physical fatigue of of being, you know, dialed in for such a long period of time. And uh, you do need that break. You do need that kind of that R and R, if you will. What does Ian Cole do to relax his mind, trying to get away from hockey? Well, I got uh, I got two little guys now, uh, two and a half years old and, and five months old. So, um, you know, it's something uh, being able to go home and, and hang out with them and hang out with the family is, is something that uh, has been a really nice uh, kind of oasis from uh, from the pressures and, and uh, of hockey, the pressure of the rink, uh, public life, stuff like that. So it's been nice to just kind of uh, take a step back and, um, you know, really, uh, really lean into that.